Welcome back to Am I on Speaker with Kylie and Callie. Hello. Did you guys see our giveaway on Instagram? Yes, I'm excited. Yeah, we have our limited edition Stanley Mm -hmm. that everybody was fighting over in Target. I don't know if you guys heard. (laughs) All the 10 year olds? (laughs) Well, they ran out like people were like jumping, like fist fighting for these Stanleys. It was like on the news. Yeah. So we got a hold of one of those. Um, We have our women's Bible, Why Men Love Bitches. Of course. The author isn't a big fan of us. But we still love the book. We love her too. We she do. She's great. We get it. We're, we're not the brightest. I know. We we now know we there was speak. cell phone uh, <laughs> back during that time. But <laughs> we also have a uh, merch in there. Yeah. And my own so speaker. Hats. I'm very excited for that too. We're planning on getting like more merch eventually. And also a $200 Target gift card, correct? Yeah. So it's like Target themed, I'd say. A lot of stuff in there is from Target. Yep. Red. Oh. White Valentine's Day. Very Valentine's Day. I'm very excited for Valentine's Day. We came out in our um, jerseys today because yep. the Super Bowl coming up. We're real excited. I'm excited to see Taylor Swift go out on the field and hug Travis Kelsey when they win. That is going to be the highlight. When they win. Okay. Well, I mean, they win every year. So, or they're over here, San Francisco. You look real thugged out, so I do. I love I'm very it. Very streetwear right now. I love it. I look, I couldn't pull it's like that off. Opposite. <laughs> yeah, we're very opposite, but we like to match all the time. So it's like it's like a what is that? Match, but like not match. Coordinate. Okay, we coordinated. So yeah, we've been seeing a lot of stuff about Travis and Taylor. Taylor, how yes. do you feel about? Do you feel like it's real, fake? Like I definitely think it's real. I don't. I've never really seen her pop out with like a man besides like back in the day, but she's she seems very happy and I don't really know anything about Taylor Swift, but like on my Instagram feed, she looks great. Yeah. She looks happy. He looks happy. People I, are trying to like speculate what was said on the field of the last game. That is so funny. And they like tried to like kind of mm-hmm. get the audio right and he says I love you or she says I love you. And then there's a part where she says, I've never been this turned on in my life. They think she said that or she said, I've never been this happy in my life. But everybody's like (laughs) freaking out about it. The thing is, I've never seen really anything on them. Just like pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess she's made the NFL like a fuck ton of money. I bet. Or the Chiefs because they have a whole new like fan base because of people that don't even watch football are now watching football. because Maybe that was the whole point of it. That's also a theory. But I Who no, knows? it seems so it does genuine, seem genuine and it's just the best thing ever. I love love. So and he is very cute. He is cute. He's a cutie and he dresses really well. So that's yeah. a plus. I like it. They're they are very shipped together very well. <laughs> they <laughs> they match real well. They're like the perfect Do you know how they, they collide? Like, <laughs> do you know how they met? No, I have no idea. How they so, so he w- had like a little TV show uh-huh. where like people could date him and stuff. Stop. Like and The he, Bachelor? Kind of. Okay. Yeah, like The Bachelor, but for him. Oh my and God, that's funny. all these girls came on like trying to like date him, whatever. And he would always be like, I hope a girl makes me like a friendship bracelet for because t- he likes Taylor Swift. He's always like talked about Taylor Swift. Stop. So he goes to a concert. And I think it was in Kansas City. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but mm-hmm. um, tries. To, he has like VIP seats. Tries to get back there to talk to her before the show, but she doesn't talk to people before shows. Like yeah. she's like she needs to save her voice to sing all those songs. Uh-huh. So she was like, oh, "I can't speak to you" or whatever. Stop. He was really disappointed, I guess, from what that's people. Cute, though. I know, so cute. so then what happened? So then I don't know. He, she didn't talk to him after, but I think he went to another show or s- something. But he made, you know how at Taylor Swift concerts they make friendship bracelets? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. So but. you go to the Eras tour and everybody brings friendship bracelets and then like you trade with people. You mm-hmm. trade like you in the crowd. Like you, a rave. <laughs> is that what they do at raves? Yeah. I've never been to a rave. So, but yeah. Me either. I'm sure it's just like a rave, like minus the Molly. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, I would never. I've done Molly twice. Knows? Big mistake. Big, I've, big mistake. I did Molly one time and it was actually horrible. I think we had the same experience. I've done it twice and I had two bad experiences. We'll get back to that. But back to how he. Um, so he made a friendship bracelet oh. with his number on it. 
and had like it that given to so her. Cute. So that's ha- kind of how it started. And I think they were like dating secretly, whatever. Aww. And now they're in love. That is so cute. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So so he like went like this and like transferred it onto her. I don't know if he did. I don't know exactly how it was given to her. I love how they like hold hands and they like. Tss. Yeah. It's so cute. And then he just recently. I see she has like a diamond him. tennis bracelet that looks like a friendship bracelet, but it's all diamonds. Of course it is. And it says like TNT for their like initials. So. Stop. Yeah. So nice. That is so cute. I know. And she's like, like best this, friends with it's my Brittany hair. Mahomes, which is really cute. A lot uh-huh. of people are like, that girl's weird, but I I like it. She's best friends with it with with her? Uh, Brittany Mahomes. Like they're like Who besties now. Brittany she's the uh, wife of um, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, okay. yeah. Gotcha. So they're like little besties now. Oh, cute. Yeah. So it's like a whole NFL like love triangle. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. Um, at least that worked out for him. Yeah, so we're probably are you I mean, are you rooting for the Niners? Are you rooting for I honestly will probably root for the Niners because I think I'm gonna be in San Francisco at the time. Um so but fitting. that's the only reason why. Like I'm not gonna like sit there with whatever. What is that team? Oh, this is the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be rooting for the Chiefs in San Francisco. My bestie from rehab is going to love this. She's oh, gonna, she, a she would always like when we'd get TV time, she and then was football, she'd beg everybody, can we please watch the Chiefs game? And we we're like, Well, we only get TV for <laughs> this amount of time. But no, I would be a good sport and I'd go in my room in color. That's Sometimes cute. go out there and ask her, like, how are they doing? You You're like, know? can we watch mean girls? Yeah, no. Well, we always had like movie nights and mm-hmm. we got to like we all took every turns. day. Um or like n- I don't think it was every day, but like we would, they'd be like, Kylie, it's your turn to pick a movie. I'd, what I'd what would you pick? I picked the Hannah Montana movie, oh. but it was Scratch. Back to <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Back to Molly. My experience with that was <clears throat> bizarre. First time in Mexico, group of friends, the bouncer at this club called Hawaii. Um, If you're from our town, you know what Hawaii exactly is. Exactly what Hawaii is. It is a shit show of a strip club, and you will see some crazy ass shit. I've seen somebody get run over in front of the club. I've seen a girl. I've seen a dog get run over in front of the club. Really? Ugh, I know was... someone that got jumped in front of that club, jumped <sighs> by three other people. Like Ugh, Mexico is very bizarre, but I love it. I, I love it too. I just went yesterday. saw a stripper pour a Corona into her vagina, <laughs> like is putting it in her vagina. And then pours it into a guy's mouth. Stop. And he's chugging it, chugging it. And oh my God, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so funny. It was awesome. And I was yeah, like, they usually I like- love Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud to be Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, it was really I never was, knew that. Yeah, it was really cool. No, I've seen someone take a dollar bill and like roll it up uh-huh. <laughs> like a stripper. And put it in her butthole and then take it out and give it to In someone. Mexico? <laughs> oh my gosh. It, yeah. It's 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 legit. Outrageous. And I love it though. You can have sex there for a hundred dollars. I hear. Is it a hundred? I don't know. I think it, we'll have to ask. I some. guess it just depends on the person. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We heard it was a hundred dollars. There's like rooms upstairs. But <clears throat> anyway, yeah. back to the bouncer giving me Molly. So I was with my boyfriend at the time. And he gave it to the guys and was like, here, you guys want this? Like, it's Molly. And they were supposed to- Wait, your to- boyfriend gave it to the guys? No, or- the bouncer gave okay. it to my boyfriend and that his so friend. That is so sketchy. And they were like, oh, thanks, whatever. And we just, I don't know if I can say this, but we brought it across the border. Okay. Well, I didn't. My ex She was did. young. I was, yeah, very young. And <laughs> um, his best friend- had a girlfriend. So we were like all like a little, Mm -hmm. you know? So one night we were trying to tell the guys like, take the Molly, come out, like take, we wanted a show. And they were like, nah, like it's a chill night. And we were like, fine, we'll do it. (laughs) So we did it. And we went to a little house party and in the car, I was like vibing. I was like feeling myself for the first. What, 10 minutes? No, like maybe 30. Okay. Because we had to drive out to like, like a 30 minute drive and the whole car ride, the music was great. Then we get there (laughs) and I'm like, Whole, everybody's just sitting in lawn chairs and I'm like 
sinking into my chair. Like I can't sit still. I just want to dance. And then this guy's like, last time I did Molly, I threw it on the floor and I hated it. And that's when I just started tripping. Stop. Yeah. And, it ruined, and I ran outside. You don't tell that to Kylie. When, especially and I'm like, when you're right. Molly. I hate this. <laughs> right. And then I sat in fiberglass. It was a whole thing. That's Sec- not the time when you were like. That was a, that was the second time. <laughs> so then I, there was a group of friends that were like, there's not one person that hates Molly. Like there's no, or. Was it one point? Honestly, the second time I did it was way different because it was like in a rock. I don't. Okay. I don't know. I don't, Anyways. I don't know anything about, I don't do drugs, but like I happen to do Molly, which is crazy. Yeah. But my friends were like, I don't know one person that doesn't like Molly. And I was like, maybe they didn't give me Molly in Mexico. So I guess I'm willing to try this, whatever. So I, we break a piece off and we rub it on our gums. Oh. It was pink, I think. Okay. And then we're all like waiting for it to kick in, chilling. And I need a sip of alcohol the, for this. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh, yeah. I also have to tell you guys something about that. But um, so we're hanging out and all of a sudden I go in this full body mirror and I just start looking at myself. I'm like, this is really this is really wow. cool. I'm doing something, you know, like <laughs> this looks awesome. And then I realized I couldn't stop dancing. By and I was yourself, like, right? Yes. And I was like, wait, why can't I stop? This is not good. Like, I'm like, <laughs> literally like, what do I do? I could not stop dancing. That's so funny. I couldn't stop dancing as I'm freaking out. <clears throat> and I didn't want to scare everybody. So I was like, I'm going to let myself out. And just called somebody and was like, come get me. Like, I'm freaking I out. stop dancing. I am freaking out. This is really bad. So they come get me and they take me to my mom because I'm like, take me to my mom. She'll know what to do. She's a nurse. So I walk up to my mom and I say, don't be mad. Please don't be mad. I did drugs. And as I'm dancing, please don't be mad. <laughs> please. And she's like, what are you doing? doing the <laughs> and she's like. I'm like, well, I did Molly. And she's like, are you stupid? Like screaming at me. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, listen, you can yell at me tomorrow, but I need your help right now. Like, please. I can't stop dancing. I need your help. Mom, <laughs> Mom help me stop. Mom, help this. So then at the time, she's dating this guy who likes to stay up late in the night and mow the lawn. Really, oh. really, really weird. Interesting. So I go outside okay. to talk to them because I'm like, they look like they've done some drugs in their <laughs> life. Let me ask them what to do. And uh, <laughs> no offense. And they're out. Him and his son are out there mowing the lawn at midnight. And I'm like, can you guys just sit the fuck down? I'm fucking scared. Please help me. Like you, you <laughs> tweakers help me. Yeah. And they gave me a sweaty hug. Didn't help. A sweaty hug. And I was like, I'm, I'm out of here. You guys are no help. So I called my friend that picked me up and said, come get me. Oh, <laughs> you're like, help me. <laughs> yeah. What was your experience with Molly? Like, honestly, it was not that crazy. I literally just did a point of Molly and I was at a frat party, actually, and it was New Year's. So I was like at this frat party and I was thinking that I was going to experience something so euphoric, like literally like I was going to start like levitating or something. I don't know. You don't know what to expect. So then you. when I did it, my friends did like a whole bunch of points, but I just did one because I was scared because I don't really do drugs. Like I don't even smoke weed just like you. Like we yeah. don't really kind of whatever. But um, so then I was just like dancing and it was New Year's and I was just sitting there and I was like, OK, it's a long time till it's New Year's. It's about two hours. Like, I don't know how long I can dance. Like I was over it. Like, but your I, body wasn't. Yeah. But I, but like my body, but my brain was like, like in okay. a different state. I was, I was like, like, jokes okay, over. Okay, um, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but your body's like, friend, no, you're not. You're gonna dance, bitch. <laughs> and my friends were so happy and like experiencing it, and I was just like, I think we're home. control freaks. Like we, we are. Ha- like we have to be. Like, I know I am. Like okay, we can have our fun, but like once it's over, it's over. And like with drugs, you can't just say okay, I'm done, and like turn the yeah. off button off. You have to like write it out. That's why I like, I think I like <laughs> alcohol a little bit more because I can turn it off. Like I'll just go home and go to sleep. If you're on drugs or like if I smoke weed, I will think. I agree. Too much and I can't sleep. I agree. On alcohol, I could just be like, all right, good night. Lights out. Yeah. Eat some Jack in the Box. Yeah. Eat 
I guys, don't know. I have a Filiberto's. Con- her favorite. <laughs> I have a confession. I got really pissed off today, and I um. She shambonged a white claw. I shambonged a white claw. We have it on video. We do. And they were screaming for me. They were I was like, so yes, happy. Our friend is back. I'm like, okay. I love her sobriety, okay? I'm not trying to, like, be a bad influence. But at the same time, like, every once in a while, it's okay. No, yeah. for sure. And I and I wasn't an alcoholic. Like, I... You I, were not. I did not stop drinking because I had a drinking problem. It was strictly because I was having panic attacks. And I wasn't sure if the alcohol was causing that. But um, I was fine. And I've had, like, a few sips here and there. Fine. And I, I, I felt fine, which was really relieving. Maybe I'll just do baby steps into it because... Tomorrow she'll do two shambongs. Yeah, and then and then the next day I'll do three shambongs. And then four and five and six and seven. Yeah. And then Yeah, and, and then, then they'll have their friend back. I love my sober friend. You do? That. Okay. Yeah, no. I'm I'm cool regardless. With whatever happens, happens. I'm cool with. But um, yeah. So today we had a fun little experience at the local Goodwill. Yes. Tell us what happened. Okay, so this is what happened. Basically, I went into Goodwill because I got a new job and I had to get some clothes for it. And that's the only place I could think to find scrubs. Anyways, I don't know why. So I went to Goodwill and I was just like, whatever, bumming it out. Just came back from the gym. Went into Goodwill, got my scrubs. And then I saw someone <laughs> and he was a cashier. And I told my mom about this too, by the way. And she was like, you were tripping over at cashier at Goodwill. But anyways, I started crying. Because I got so nervous. I started crying. So then I called Kylie and I'm like, Kylie, what do I do? Like, I just like ruined my chance. Like he was looking at me. What do I do? And she was like, I'm on my way. So I'm like, her- stay in the parking lot. <laughs> You're going to go in there and give him your number. <laughs> so she came, she pulled up with my friend and then we all went in. And I was just like so nervous. I was pacing around and like our she other friend. She had her little receipt ready to give. Like she was going to, what were you going to tell him? I'd be like, you dropped this. <laughs> and I'm like, we cannot be tripping over the man that works at Goodwill. We got to be direct. We got to be direct. But then he was flirting with all the girls over there. So it felt like kind of awkward. I get right? it. It would have been a bad yeah. little. So she lo- lost her chance. So then I was like, uh-uh, we didn't come all this way for nothing. So I grabbed the number and I'm chasing this. This guy around the store with his receipt in my hand. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. sir. He's like, <laughs> I walked up to him. Now. I was like, hey, um, my friend wanted me to give you this. And he's like, biggest smile on his face. He knew exactly who I was talking about. Because I feel like they were like, there was some chemistry there. Because even when we were in line, he was like staring at you. Yeah. I could tell. But even though all those girls were talking to him. Mm-hmm. He was he was good looking. He was cute, right? But like up close. See, that's what I'm scared she of. She didn't see him up close. I like, Or she did, but like she wasn't paying attention because she was so nervous. Also, I didn't want to like stare at him. Like even be like, yeah. Yeah. He did that to me though. So he got a real good look at me. Even though I had I'm no I'm sure he liked what he and... saw. Well, that wasn't the issue. It was just like okay, getting. Yeah. So we need I to agree. find his social media and then we'll like. I don't even to... know his name. Well, hopefully he texts you. Or hopefully but... not. Because I mean. I, I hope not, actually. Because is he going to be taking you on shopping sprees to Goodwill? Like, we can't have that. <laughs> we cannot have that. You might get a discount. That would be pretty cool. On scrubs? <laughs> Perfect. Thank uh. you. <laughs> Cash register boy. You haven't even... Anyways. Well, I just got my honest. nails done today. Aren't you so And cute. I'm wearing my Cowboys and Tequila ring right now. And I don't even have any tequila. The tequila man is back. The He's off of probation. Man is back. He can hand it right over. He can hand over the tequila. So we do have a little game plan. Next time, Kylie's te- taking a tequila shot. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Baby steps. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going to play a little game, and it is called Hide and Seek. Speak out. Sorry, I don't know if you guys heard that. It's I'm kind of scared hide and for seek. this game. Well, we wouldn't. Uh, Lalo. Have too much luck with that. So it's called Speak Out. It's more. Have you ever played this? Sorry, Grandma. Is she going to be mad? She told me. She said, I watched your podcast and 
I saw you drinking some water and then I realized that it was a bottle of tequila. Oh, no. And I was like, oh. Sorry. Sloppy. I remember you sent me a video of um, you taking a shot in front of your grandma. She was like, I never want to see you do that again. <laughs> it was a shambong. She was scared. She thought I was supposed to shove it down my throat. So this game is called Speak Out. So you put these little clear plastic I'm scared. pieces in your mouth, and you're supposed to pronounce the sentences, and then we have to figure out what the other person is saying. So... I get the baby one. Should we do the big one? I feel like the big one's harder. Let's do the big one. I feel like my mouth is too big. You you We're should probably it. use the big the baby one. Well, they both fit. She has a really small mouth. I do have a really small mouth. It's because you have nice long teeth. ASMR. ASMR. Oh, package. Okay, I got plastic. Him. Watch this. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So let's Guys, see. I've never had any scissors before. She has really straight teeth. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> Bell bottom. <laughs> Bell bottom save my butt. Bell bottom save my butt. Yes. Wow. How did I know that? I don't okay. know. That was hard. Okay. I did hard research. <laughs> Well, they look great, so. Right here. They do. Park the bus out back. Park the bus out back. Yeah, you got it. What the hell? I don't know how you got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, is my lipstick everywhere? No. Oh, wow. It's never. It's all over there. It's never where. Okay, ready? I don't know. I keep taking it. Okay. Touch my Lou Lola Sykes. Touch my Lou. Touch my Lou Lola Kate. Touch my blue velvet cake. Cape. 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 Touch my blue velvet cape. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow. I'm sure drilling. Okay. Are I sure dried off or hot high? <laughs> Say it again. Are mushrooms? Hydro or hot high? <laughs> mushrooms. Hydro or hot high? Huh? <laughs> 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 Hydro or a hot high? Are <laughs> mushrooms? I don't. Or a hot eye. <laughs> Are mushrooms hiding in the in the pot pie? Okay, hot high, yes. Vital. <laughs> vital. Are mushrooms hiding in the vital pot pie? No, I don't know. <laughs> Are mushrooms vital or a hot eye? <laughs> I know, I know. We're childish. You got it. Are mushrooms? <laughs> you got it. I give up. You got it. I give up. My, here. You know what? We've had enough <laughs> for the day. I'm drooling and my lipstick's getting ruined, so we're done. We're done. We're done. What did it say? Wind it up. Huh? What did it say? It says, are mushrooms vital for a pot pie? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> We're wrapping it up. That's a wrap. Yes. We will see you next, next week. time with a special guest. Yes. That is the big news. Yes. And hopefully we'll have an announcement for who won our giveaway. Yep. It's not February too late 4th? to put it. Fifth. February 5th. Yeah. So. And hope tune you win in. our giveaway. And love you. We will see you soon. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And on like, TikTok. Like, subscribe. And my on speaker podcast. <laughs>